Okay, today um, I want to talk about writing your personal narrative. Um, there are three stages to this, and two of them you should have done already. The first one is um, assignment 2.6, where I asked you to plan out what you're going to write about, what is your meaningful personal experience. And then um, an assignment from earlier this week, assignment 2.8, where you had to turn that meaningful personal experience into um, a plotted narrative arc. So looking at um, what your exposition of your story is, the conflict, the rising action, the climax, um, right through until the resolution. So that was assignment 2.8. So after you've done both of those assignments and you've handed them in to me so I can get an idea about what you're going to be writing about and make sure you're on the right track, then you can start on assignment 2.11, which is the assignment that I'm going to post on Monday, and that is drafting your personal narrative. So just to recap the, um, the other assignments, assignment 2.6, this is what it looks like. Um, you have to write down what your moment was that you're going to be writing about in as much detail as possible, why it was meaningful to you, um, and the problem or conflict in your story. And assignment 2.8, that was where you had to plot it out um, according to the six plot elements, exposition, conflict, etc. So make sure you've done both of those assignments before you start on drafting your personal narrative. So for this assignment, um, which I'm going to drop on Monday, November 23rd, it's going to be assignment number 2.11. This is the last assignment you have um, until the end of the marking period on December the 4th. So let's go, go through what this is going to look like. So um, I'll, have, I'll show you in a minute the actual um, sheet that you're going to write it on. But basically, to start off with, um, on the first day or maybe the Tuesday or Wednesday, you're just going to write a free write first draft, just getting down all of the details in your story. Um, I give you some suggestions as to how to structure that, and we'll look at the graphic organizer in a minute. But really, you're just getting down everything you remember, um, all the details, the people involved, what happened. Okay. Um, this um, assignment 2.11, you are going to keep. All right, you're not going to hand it in, you're not going to turn it in to me until at least December 2nd at the earliest. And the reason for that is because the um, over the next two weeks, you're going to have a chance to revise, to improve, um, to change your personal narrative to make it better. All right, and how this is going to work is that on every school day, um, I'm going to give you some suggestion about how you can improve your personal narrative. So starting on Tuesday, um, I'm going to uh, give you some ideas about how you can um, write a more engaging introduction so that the reader wants to read it. And this will be in the form of a, uh, a short video explaining um, how you can improve your introduction and then also a Padlet where um, you can demonstrate this skill to me. So um, these Padlets will be extra credit. Okay, so they'll replace like a low grade you might have got earlier in, in, the, um, in the unit. And they'll also give you an idea, you can see other people's work about how you can improve your personal narrative. So for example, if you started writing your personal narrative and you look at the video on introduction and you do the Padlet and you get some idea about how you can write a better first paragraph, you can then go into your um, draft, your 2.11 uh, assignment draft, and make any changes you want to make to that. So similarly on Wednesday, um, there'll be a Padlet, a video about descriptive language, how you can add that to your assignment. And then we have Thanksgiving break. And then after Thanksgiving, um, I should say actually on the weekend before you we come back for Thanksgiving, I'm probably going to go into um, your uh, assignment and have a look at them to make sure you're on the right track, to make sure you started, and also maybe to give you some feedback if I feel that you need some help with certain things. 
Okay, and then when we come back from Thanksgiving, there'll be another Padlet on Monday. That'll be on dialogue, so um, characters talking to each other, how you can incorporate, include that into your personal narrative. And then on Tuesday, it will be tone, how to add um, how you feel about a, right, um, a character or a situation. Uh, and then on Wednesday, the last Padlet and video will be about something called show, don't tell. We'll talk about that nearer the time. And then Wednesday, December the 2nd is the earliest that you can hand in your draft. If you try and hand it in to me before then, I will just return it to you. Okay, so December the 2nd, you can hand it in. December the 3rd, December the 4th. December the 4th is the last day because it's the last day of the marking period. So let's have a look at what the um, draft is going to look like. So on the left hand side of the screen here, okay, this is um, how the um, your personal narrative is going to look. Okay, so it's got some details at the top there and then it's divided into the different plot elements, exposition, conflict, etc. Now you'll see on the left hand side um, a few little notes to um, guide you in how you should write your personal narrative. But to begin with, I just want you to um, free write um, what your story is about. And then as you revise it, you can add some of those details, some of those elements. Um, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see my example. Um, I'm going to include that in the assignment so you can see how I did it, how you can um, improve your one. I'm also going to include in the assignment a checklist. So the checklist will um, give you some ideas about what you need to include in your personal narrative. So things like focus purpose, right? How this experience has shaped you. Um, make sure it's specific to a real and meaningful experience in your life, something that happened to you, a central idea, first person point of view, all the revisions that I just talked about. And um, the last thing I really want to talk about that you need to include in your personal narrative is what I have on the right hand side here. <clears throat> so you need to make sure that your story follows a logical sequence of events. Okay, so we're not just talking about that the story has to start with an exposition, go through all the stages and then end in a resolution, but also that your story should be structured as if it's almost like a scenes in a movie or passages. Okay, so I've suggest that you want at least three passages or scenes. Um, maybe even as many as five. Okay, I'm not going to give you a word limit or um, a line limit about this assignment. You can write as much or as little as you like. But just as a suggestion, I think you want at least three to five passages or scenes. Okay, and if you look at our previous um, texts, things like Today, You, Tomorrow, Me, um, The Fart of War, um, all the other texts that we've looked at, you can see how they have structured their personal narrative. Okay, so you'll notice that maybe it starts with an introduction passage or a scene from your story and then there'll probably be at least another passage um, that develops some of the rising action or the climax falling action of your story. Okay, it's, it's up to you how you divide these things up um, and how many passages you have, but you have to make sure that you are conveying the whole of your story, the full narrative arc, going up to the climax, going down to the resolution. And then lastly, uh, make sure you have like a concluding passage or a scene which really demonstrates to the writer, to the reader, excuse me, what you learn from your story. Um, and that's really um, what you have to do. So um, make sure that you've followed all my suggestions here. And of course, if you have any problems, just send me a message in chat. Bye.